Welcome back, everyone. I'm Carlos, and you are at Brooklyn Fragrance Lover, and I am joined again by the beautiful Olia Barr. Thank you for having me. My That's pleasure. Good. Thanks for coming and making time for me. It's always appreciated, and they appreciate it as well. Today, we're going to review for you a fragrance from Emporio Armani called Stronger With You. <laughs> Keep it right there. Brooklyn Fragrance Lover I don't think that I've tried any Emporio Armani fragrances ever. I, of course, Aqua de Jo and some other things and the, the Privé line as well, but I've never tried anything from Emporio Armani. This is a duo that came out in June. The women's one was called Because It's You and the men's counterpart is called Stronger With You. It came out in June of this year and it was composed by Cecile Maton, or Maton, I don't know, sorry. <laughs> Hopefully I said your name correctly. The notes in this are cardamom, pink pepper, violet leaves, sage, chestnut, vanilla, and musk. Mm. So this is your first time smelling it. I have a dry down one here and I will spray the card for you. This is the bottle of clothes so you can get an idea. It comes in several sizes. I believe 30, 50, and 100. This is uh, 30, I believe. There you go. That is a sweet blast, you must say, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> it's definitely, it's, it's very, very, um, it's very interesting. I definitely pick up on the gourmand base, and I love the chestnut mold in there. Mm. It's uber sweet, guys. This yes. is in the Invictus 1 million family, but it quickly dries down. I wore this to work yesterday and I got four compliments. Just recently, I mentioned my manager who never likes anything and I had accidentally sprayed something, he walked right into the to the mist and he liked it. He gave me a compliment on this yesterday, again. <laughs> the opening blast is atomically sweet. It is yeah. uber sweet, but it mellows down real fast within the first half hour even. Even 15 minutes, I'd say, and then it... It's already mellowing down. Like I've, You only sprayed it like a maybe out. a minute ago. And and it's already coming down, but it's it's really beautiful. I definitely, well, I love pink pepper in the opening. I think it always gives it a nice um, kind of bright opening. And yeah, it's, this is, and how long ago did you spray this? This has been like only- About half an hour. This is, I mean, this is a really nice and very smooth transition. Yeah, and it's not as loud. I mean, I, I think the first spray could definitely maybe turn off some people. But it, it dries nicely. It's beautiful. It's definitely beautiful. I can... Let me put on my skin for you. Yeah, please do. Um, you know what's interesting? That I personally would recommend this also to women. Like, I recommend for the girlfriends of your subscribers to steal it from their boyfriends <laughs> <laughs> and or wear just it because it's on that there, beautiful. Man. Give it a few seconds. Can I actually... Go for yeah. it. So very, very sweet, but then it mellows out and you get a simple but nice vanilla musk, little aromatic and and chestnut is a nice note in it. You know, and um, I love the car the cardamom, right? That was that was opening mm -hmm. and um, you know what else I, I pick up that, that I think is pretty significant is the the violet because I think it kind of calms down that sweetness and it adds a little bit of that veil of um of kind of a chilly note you know because mm -hmm. violet is a is a cold no. ingredient yeah a note so I I really like it and the I can see that the dry down will already be kind of cozy and soft and, and very delicious yeah so. it's already drying down look it, it, it lost that potency that yeah <laughs> and it's that beautiful. first glass is really sweet yeah. at the opening it's pretty intense but but i can definitely see that by the time you know after you spray it and by the time you're walking out of your house it's already yeah you know, kind of getting it's one part. of those that you got to give yourself a little time to yeah. let it settle <laughs> itself down on your skin 
but overall, it's, it's very pleasant. I yeah, think. it's re- it's really beautiful, and I think it's great for the weather that we're going into. You know, yeah, the fall. weather changing right now and going into fall, it would be perfect. I would have probably maybe 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 included it in my fall list, but um, I haven't worn it enough yet to gauge it how it would wear. I got about four to five hours. I can on see this. Skin. I can see it but it, it, it's longer. not it's not loud and. Uh, it, it does fade kind of quick. It really does? My skin eats, even this atomic opening, it, it settles down, I get four to five hours. I'm turning it much creamier, you see? Mm-hmm. It's definitely, well, I turn all the suns, I feel like more more creamy, but I really like this. I think... Um... We should make a new uh, a coffee mate. All your flavor. <laughs> yes. <laughs> These are creamy. You don't need the cream. <laughs> This is beautiful. So if you, I think, um, you know, if you're into kind of that gourmand base or a gourmand component in a scent, this would be, a, this would be a really interesting addition to the to the fall wardrobe. I think that their um, their target audience is younger, and I think probably it's better suited for you know twenties, mid thirties type of thing. Yeah, I can see that. Well, I wore it. I'm fifteen. But to be honest something. with you, <laughs> I think it's um, I think when it comes to fragrances, to me, you know, I don't think there, there's a, a really um, Strong division between between the age, you know, and, and even 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 with um gender as well. But they want to know what right, it would right, be right. more geared to. You would agree that it's a little a little younger. I would I would I think forties since forties and new thirties. Alright, cool. Fifties um, is the new thirties. Fifties is the new thirties. <laughs> hey, listen, everything everything is different these days, and I think it's amazing. I think that the fact that you know people can wear all kinds of scents and there's no. There's not what you have to do and right. what you should do. I think that's amazing, and I think having the freedom to really rock whatever you want is, is amazing. So I think this is definitely a pretty interesting scent. I think it's safe to say that we both enjoy it. It's not groundbreaking, but it's a it's a pleasant fragrance. Yeah, you, you couldn't right. go wrong. It's not awful by any means, and uh, it's a yeah. safe bet. You yeah, know, it's kind of, and I think it's also a good gift. You know, yeah. because I feel like most of the people would find it pretty pleasant. And it's in the crowd pleaser type of fragrance it's, there's no nothing challenging here except maybe that atomic sweet opening but okay. other than that <laughs> there's nothing challenging here so a safe if not maybe a little boring but good fragrance from Emporio Armani thanks for joining me thanks for having me once again hope you all are well if you haven't subscribed to BFL please do so and please do click on the bell icon so you don't miss any notifications or new content reviews and giveaways Sorry, today there won't be a giveaway, but on the next one, there probably will be. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you're all well, and I'll see you in the next review. All right, so I think we both like this. Not groundbreaking, breaking. Not groundbreaking. <laughs> <laughs>